Finally up towards the Nexus. Kevin is gonna oh be able to go towards him. He's trying to do it. But meanwhile, they're in the base. Yellow Star's trying to defend them in the base. Pecky's trying to take the Nexus down. Is anyone gonna be able to deal with this one? Catches him with another axe. He's very low on that. It was so back and forward. What a crazy game. You've got to take your hats off to these two teams. They really put everything into that match. SK Gaming, of course, coming into this one. They wanted to give everything Fnatic, saying they were only going to give 50%. I think they gave a lot more than that in that game. 50%. If that's 50%, season three, Fnatic are going to destroy everyone with blindfolds on. That was uh, pretty insane. So, SK, you can see on their faces there, every single one of them going to be disappointed with that one. They. They had it, they had it in their hands, they were pushing those inhibitor turrets. I wouldn't say that it was a clear cut, 100% win for them. But Joe, how they good is this? Had it. How good is this? This is going to happen every week. This is going to happen every week. And people told us on Twitter, El Clasico, you can't call it that in League of Legends yet. Well, I think you just did I think it just did become an El Clasico there, certainly. And that was just, I, I don't know, I've not, not seen something like that. I don't think ever. Honestly, that was absolutely you insane. You see the tension, because they knew if, if Peko had died and he was one hit away from death, they would have lost because the Candy Panda was on their base. The Nexus tourists were going down. There was a massive wave of super minions. That game was lost within 10 seconds either way. Absolutely brilliant. So we can see Oslo. We know him as one of the most emotional men in League of Legends. And to lose like that, I think he'd rather have been wiped over in 20 minutes than spend 56 minutes and 10 seconds for the game to end like that. Amazing micro work by XPK there at the end with Cassidy jumping side to side. I mean, what do you do against him then if you've got no flash? You can't get around to him, you can't do anything. But like you said, he was one hit away. When he had one hit left on, that, uh, on the Nexus itself, manages to pull it off and catapults Fnatic through into the semis. And cast your mind back to the Season 2 finals. They had identical almost with CLG. Remember the backdoor from Voidboy got around there. The teleport's coming in.